Solstice is a brand new hack and slash adventure where a superhuman battles through a grim world alongside her sister. Also, her sister is a ghost. To tell us more about this premise is the game's director, Fabio Pagetti, and Samuele Perseo, a producer on the game. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So, this game seems to take some inspiration from other hack and slash games that came before it. What's something that is uh, unique to Solstice? Uh, first of all, uh, we we try to to do our personal take of this kind of games. Uh, we study a lot uh, the big, the biggest uh, franchise and game in this in this file, all the, the most famous hack and slash. And we decide to uh, put our, all our our, uh, our attention on uh, on find something very special. And in this case, we decide to move on the decision to create a, a, a slash based on two characters, two different characters uh, controlled at the same time. Hmm. In this case, our game show two, two, two sisters, Briar and Lut. And uh, all the game is, is focused on the, these two sisters from uh, both uh, gameplay and uh, story, of course. So what can you tell us about these two sisters? Yeah, the, the, the idea of the, the, these, these two main characters uh, um, born uh, during uh, several meetings with my designer. And uh, during, during this meeting, we decided to, uh, to move on this kind of game in general. And uh, uh, I, I love so much Japanese animation, uh, uh, mangas, and uh, I, I I like very much dark fantasy, uh, especially Berserk uh, from Kentaro Miura and Claymore. And uh, I find this opportunity very unique to uh, try to create uh, two uh, strong characters uh, using Berserk and Claymore as a reference. And uh, with, with that in mind, uh, we start to, to, to work around these this, this two sisters with, a, 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 the, with a, a, a very terrible past and a, a great uh, mission uh, for, uh, for the game. What we can tell you story-wise about them is that they're not the only ones in this world to have this sort of uh, relationship between uh, uh, Swordman and the Shade, that's how we call the ghost, uh, because these are sort of living weapons that have been created by a uh, um, religious order to face these enemies that come from the other side of the veil, from the dimension of chaos. So the idea is that you need this hybrid, uh, uh, this mix of different abilities to face uh, these, uh, these enemies. Uh, what makes uh, each uh, Chimera, because they're called Chimeras, what makes uh, each Chimera unique is the relationship between uh, uh, between the two characters. Obviously, uh, Bar and Lut are the ones that we will get to know best uh, because they are our main characters, but uh, you will have the chance to meet others in the game and see uh, the inherent danger that this condition, their own own life and an easy balance represents. And uh, they, they were not, uh, we can tell you, Something not too much because we don't want to spoil the story. Sure. But uh, they, they didn't have a say in, in their transformation, in their rebirth. And the way that each one of them reacts to this uh, is, is different. And, and since they're always on screen together, they, they get to, to have a voice about what they face and the story as, as it unfolds. So the idea is that we have not only one, but two characters facing their own uh, narrative arcs and trying to solve some issues between them as well as the story goes on. Mm. So even though there are two main characters, is, is this a single player game? Uh, yes, but uh, in, in, in truth, uh, you get to control directly uh, Briar, mm. uh, the sword woman. Uh, what happens with Loot is that he is an AI driven character uh, that is a mix of uh, manual input from the player and contextual actions, but Fabio can tell you more about this. Yeah, uh, the two sisters, mainly in combat, the, the two systems respond on the on a uh, we call that a, a unity system. Hmm. 
that uh, show to the player the value of unity between both uh, and respect that value, uh, loot uh, become uh, uh, more uh, um, powerful and also uh, allow the player to interact with, with uh, um, their action more than, 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 than normally. Mm. When this unity value grows up, uh, uh, unlock special moves uh, uh, for, the, for a both sister. Uh, and this special moves move consists in the, a, 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 a very powerful a special attack that the two sisters do in, in complete synergy. Uh, on, a, on, a, uh, on, on a higher level, uh, uh, the two sisters become uh, more and more powerful, but I can say more uh, on, on that because it, there, there is something special in, in the future respect to this kind of uh, unity system. I see. Okay, so we see quite a few different weapons being used. What kind of weapons and move can players expect to use in the game? Uh, mainly, the, the main character uses a signature weapon. Is, is this uh, uh, big sword you see in the, in the trailer and in the uh, gameplay. We work on that sword, sword uh, keeping in mind uh, uh, famous sword from, uh, sword from the uh, game and uh, also manga like, like the, the sword from Final Fantasy VII, the Berserk sword. But also I, I really like, for example, the sword coming from, uh, uh, for example, uh, Monster Hunter and Bloodborne. And in fact, our senior tour weapon can be transformed from a, a big sword in, into a big maze. Uh, of course, in this kind of game, uh, the player can uh, unlock and, uh, uh, and use a, a different secondary weapon. In this case, in, uh, in our gameplay uh, video, uh, uh, we have at the moment uh, uh, the big iron uh, gauntlet uh, and uh, the wimp. Wimp is used especially when you have a lot of uh, uh, enemy around you because it's a, 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 a long range weapon, but he don't do the same damage as the gauntlet, for example. Gauntlet is, is used on single target, and especially uh, versus the enemy that have uh, an armor. So with, with the gauntlet, you can break armor on, on the enemy. Signature weapon is a, a sword and mace. Sword is, 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 is a, uh, it's not quick like the Wimp or other secondary weapon you can uh, unlock uh, during the game. It's a, a, the balanced weapon for the game, but also you can use Mace to do uh, a, a very impact uh, on uh, also on, uh, on character with armor, but uh, in, in a different way than the gun. Uh, and all the secondary weapon for sure unlock uh, special ability and moves uh, for both systems. The idea is that we wanted something strong also from a visual point of view mm. to identify the character with, but on the other hand, we also wanted to offer the players with a good uh, array of different options. And obviously, if you play on easy or normal, you don't have to care too much about which weapon to select. You can just do whatever you want, actually. Uh, but uh, if you go for a, a harder difficulty, uh, the game expects that you select uh, the best tool for each challenge that you're presented with. Uh, so it's really up to the kind of experience that each player wants to uh, enjoy for themselves. And we, we hope to have enough variety for, for everyone to, to enjoy the game in this regard. So you mentioned Bloodborne. The uh, monsters and environments are giving me big Bloodborne, vi Bloodborne vibes. Were the From Software and Soulsborne games a big inspiration for Solstice? Uh, <laughs> a funny thing is uh, uh, the name of our game, Solstice. When uh, we released the announcement trailer, a lot of people uh, uh, think, OK, it's a Souls-like game. Uh, but uh, it's not that. Uh, for sure, uh, it, it, you see from the, the trailer and the gameplay is, is totally an hack and slash. Uh, the name uh, uh, born uh, because of uh, a, a, a very important fa fact in the, in the 
in the, in, in the story of the game. There is a, a big uh, event in the game called the Solstice of Soul, and uh, the, the, the title uh, Born from, from. On the other end, uh, uh, for sure, the From Software game uh, is, inspires us a lot. Uh, in fact, the, we are not Japanese people, we are Euro European people. And uh, for us, uh, creating this type of game is very difficult, uh, especially from uh, a visual uh, point of view. But uh, for Solstice, uh, all the environment we created uh, is, uh, is, is much realistic that uh, a lot of uh, Japanese uh, game. Uh, uh, especially games inspired by Japanese animation and manga. And for sure, from software, for us, it's the biggest example to make things very, and especially environment, very interesting because of mood. Because for us, the, the mood of the from software game is very interesting, special, and unique. Yes, it, it was more a source of inspiration about tone and atmosphere, mm -hmm. or the general dark fantasy, low fantasy setting. Uh, not so much for gameplay because in that case our sources of inspiration and references were just different. I see. Is this a boss fight that we're seeing right now? Yeah, this is the fifth boss fight in the game. We have also mini boss. This, this is the, the very first boss. And in this case, the player is, uh, is, uh, is called to uh, use all the ability and game uh, rules that uh, he have uh, learned during the first uh, the first branch of mission uh, before uh, before him this is, this boss uh, is uh, is a possessed enemy in the game we, we have mainly three family of enemy we have we have uh, um, uh, corrupted corrupted human enemy we have a ghost void enemy and we have possessed. In fact, if you see uh, our main character, especially loot, can cast two type of different auras. One is blue is one, and one is red. Here, uh, our, our reference is for sure is uh, Ikaruga. Uh, and uh, with uh, these two kind of aura, uh, loot, for example, with the blue aura can uh, materialize uh, a ghost bright enemy. And uh, in, in this case, for, for this boss, uh, with the red one, he, he, he allowed Briar, the big sister, uh, to hit the, the enemy. Be because if you don't activate the red hour, you can't uh, damage uh, possessed uh, family enemy. Yes, the idea is that this uh, aura system is designed to make each uh, fight different uh, and to cause it to play out uh, in, a, in a different way according to the objectives, the targets that you, you set for yourself. So, for example, there may be uh, a Wraith uh, attacking from a distance and you may want to use your aura to get close and, and, and target it. But uh, at the same time, you might have other types of enemies that will uh, try to, you know, uh, gain the advantage because of the fact that you're not dealing with them directly. And this also is strictly related to the presence of both characters in, in each fight uh, because uh, the idea was that we want the player to drive uh, the battle uh, and loot is there to make it possible to deal with uh, enemies that surround you or that uh, uh, try and attack you from uh, uh, from behind for example she will be able to shield you or to bounce them off or to hit them from a distance obviously uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, different events going on in each in each arena and the idea is that loot makes it possible for you to uh, dominate these arenas nonetheless well, you had me at Ikaruga. That is the magic word, one of my favorite games of all time. Solstice is looking amazing. It's definitely one we want. We can't wait to see more of. Thank you both for stopping by. Stick around for more Gamescom 2021 right here on IGN. <laughs>